Virtual reality and AI are now teaming up to train doctors for one of the riskiest and most challenging surgeries. Alab at McGill has created a simulation that allows surgeons to operate on an AI-generated brain. This has been called the most lifelike experience of neurosurgery outside of the OR, and it is changing the game for new surgeons. Rolando Del Mastro is the director of the Neurological Simulation and Artificial Intelligence Learning Center at McGill University. He's the man behind this project, and he's joining us this morning from Tiverton, Ontario. Welcome to your morning. Welcome. Thank you very much, Anne-Marie. I'm fascinated to learn more. How does the simulator work? Well, basically what we try to do is we, we basically use two things. We use virtual reality, which is really a computer-generated environment. And then what we do is we use artificial intelligence to really fine-tune that artificial intelligence, fine-tune that environment. So as you can see here, for example, this is a virtual reality uh, operation. The individual there was actually operating on a brain. The brain is virtual. You can't really feel it or see it, except when you use the instruments. And when using the instruments, you get the feeling that you actually get the real feeling of what the brain feels like, because we've actually done... We actually put all that information into uh, into the simulator. It bleeds. It, it looks like a, a tumor. And it looks like a real brain that you're operating on. You know, admittedly, I hadn't thought a lot about brain surgery before, but I thought the best description in researching our interview was the training for brain surgery is a comparison to pilot training, where they go through intense on-the-ground training, including using simulators, but not until they actually fly a plane are they getting the real-life experience? And with that in mind, can you share why this specific simulator is considered revolutionary within the neurological field? Well, in essence, um, a revolution is actually occurring in surgery. For, from the time that one began the concept of training surgeons, what basically occurred was that it was an apprenticeship model. In other words, what happened is that you, as a trainee, would watch the surgeon do the operation, over time, you get more and more ability to actually do parts of the operation, and eventually, you will be able to do the whole thing. And so what we're basically suggesting now is instead of doing this long apprenticeship, in which it takes a long time for you to learn those particular skills, that we begin the process earlier using virtual reality and actually artificial intelligence. And those two systems can do three things. They can assess how you're actually doing the surgery. They can actually then train you how to do the surgery more carefully. And the third thing is they can warn you about errors. And those three things are really the critical things that these artificial intelligence powered tutors do for you. They actually assess how you're working, actually can train you to do it better. And then if you're gonna make an error, what they basically say, they actually talk with you and they tell you your instruments are too far apart. You've gotta put them closer together. You're using too much speed with your left hand or your right hand while you're doing the operation. And we can now look at about 5,000 things that your hands are doing, doing a complex, let's say, brain tumor operation. Well, That's... Go ahead. Yeah, that was one of the pieces that I found fascinating as well, is that part of the training is that you have to be able to use both hands equally well during a surgery like brain surgery. What's the feedback you're getting from educators, students, and other medical experts? <clears throat> I think everybody feels that this is a future. This, is, this actually is the future that, that uh, all surgeons who are training are going to go through these types of uh, simulations. And the second thing, let's say you develop a new surgical procedure. Well, how basically what happens now is you, you learn that procedure on humans. And if you can learn that particular procedure in a virtual reality setting, the hope would be that you have less error and you actually do a better job. And so the real aspect, I mean, what we really want to do is globalize safe surgery through the utilization of simulation and artificial intelligence, just, just like the, uh, the airplane industry has done before us. It's a little bit different, obviously, because we're working on the human brain, but in, and it's, uh, in one way it's more complex because each individual uh, operation involves a lot of different activities. But in essence, that's what we're trying to do. Orlando, I enjoyed our conversation and I enjoyed the research in doing this interview. Thanks so much for joining us today. Well, all the best, take care now. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.